Schools prepare to start the new academic year. Many are also working to ensure their libraries and their curriculum meet the state's new requirements. KCRG tv 9s Abigail Curtin spoke with one district about how it is preparing to enforce Iowa's book ban now that it's in effect for the first time. A court challenge to the Iowa law that restricts certain books and topics ended, which means teachers, principals, and curriculum directors are having to make sure they're not in violation. The law bans school books that depict or describe sex acts and also prohibits teaching students below the sixth grade about sexuality and gender identity. Iowa City Schools plan to pull about 70 books from its shelves, but Solon Schools says it's not changing much. It really didn't have a huge impact on us. I mean, we always um, do our best to protect our kids and, and put those decisions to parents. Idol explained that although the law had been blocked until earlier this month, the Solon Community School District operated as if it hadn't been. He says he and his staff had already gone through the books in their libraries and curriculums to ensure that they're compliant. But without an official list of banned books from the state, they had to look to other districts for guidance. What we did was um, we kind of kept our eye on book lists that were starting to pop up, uh, not only in Iowa and some school districts, but across the nation. The book ban has come with controversy. Opponents say it limits the materials and topics students will have access to in their education, including classics like A Thousand Acres and Ulysses. PEN America, a nonprofit promoting access to books, says Iowa's law has led to nearly 3,400 books being banned. Though Idol says students can still access those books in other ways, like through the city library, just not the school library with materials and books, we're going to err on the side of safety. In Solon, Abigail Curtin, KCRG TV9 News.